Does the current coronavirus mean real estate's on sale? Will you be able to get a great deal on a house? That's the topic of my next video. Can you, Mr. Homebuyer, get a great price on a house since the COVID-19 pandemic? Are the sellers giving their properties away? That's the topic of today's video. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark Schreier, and I'm a licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes Real Estate right here in Syosset, Long Island. Basically, everybody wants a great deal. Is this pandemic going to turn into a buyer's market? Is it currently a buyer's market? We're going to discuss some basic facts and principles. I'm going to give you some uh, research that the National Association of Realtors has shared, current research dated uh, mid-April, which we're in right now. You, everybody wants a great deal. Supply and demand dictates a market. The stock market is going chaotic right now, took a very big dive, went up a little, dropped a little, according to the news of the day. Real estate right now, particularly on Long Island, is sort of on a pause. It's on a standstill. Realtors can still sell properties. Properties are still closing. Not nearly the amount of properties that close compared to a traditional uh, spring market. People are waiting on the side and watching. But the inventory is has always been low. The... the um, Mortgages are at historic lows. It's a great time to refinance if you're able to meet the parameters of, um, of the banks that are ever-changing. And I will include a link to a video I made about what's going on with the current mortgage rates since COVID-19 and what you're expected to have um, credit score-wise and things of the like. So check out that video if you're interested in refinancing or you want to enter the market as a buyer. And you want to know if you can get pre-approved. So what does it mean? Can you get a great deal? Well, the National Association of Realtors survey showed that even though the market was very strong before and interest rates are very low, um, for that reason, sellers are not willing to budge in, uh, in general. Yes, you're always going to find a seller that needs to get out or has already moved and the house is empty. But in general, the, the realtors that were surveyed about their buyers, they did not I mean, their sellers, their sellers did not want to lower their prices. But then there's a dilemma. You got 63% of buyers expecting lower prices, and you got 72% of sellers saying, no, I'm not lowering my price. So we're going to see who blinks first. What's going to determine it? Well, the fact that the mortgage rates were very good uh, before, which means a strong buyer pool, the inventory was always limited. It all depends on Unemployment rate, how long people stay unemployed, how much the stimulus, the second bump of the stimulus package helps people. And even if it helps people, if you're unemployed, you're not going to be getting a mortgage. If you're a cash buyer and you have liquid cash, you, cash is always king. It's going to help you significantly if this um, health crisis keeps going for a lot longer than uh, people are expecting it to. But we don't know. Like I said, I don't have a crystal ball. Things are starting to open up now. If things can open up in the country without any significant hiccups and uh, more, you know, re-lockdowns, then we would say in three to six months, hopefully real estate will be back. Things will never be the same, which will be the topic of another video on how to how showing houses and everything is going to change since this COVID-19 uh, pandemic. But with that being said, again, can you get a great deal on a house? If you have cash, I would say your chances are better. If you're willing to be in the market now and look at houses, you might not get a great deal, but you might be able to get the house that you were hoping to get in an area because the buyer pool has significantly reduced. Can you still go through the transa transaction of buying that house and doing everything with attorneys and appraisers? The answer is with a good realtor, a good real estate firm, yes. My company and myself can go through a total virtual transaction, never having to see the property, never having to enter the property. You can buy a property that way, and it also is adhering to the CDC and social distancing guidelines. I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe in the bottom and click the uh, bell for notifications. This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes and stay safe.